Hey guys, MZ here, and welcome back again to One Shot. Now, uh, last time we got into this, I won't lie, this game actually kind of, kind of intimidates me a little bit, just in the fact that it really feels like there's so much pressure to get everything right on the first go, but have no idea how to get there. Anyways, we're going to hop back into this, and right now, poor little Nico feels uneasy. Uh, I don't know how to feel about that. I kind of want, I kind of want my little character to be happy and and stuff, and the fact that they're not is kind of kind of intimidating. But we have our little light bulb, and uh, well, let's let's hope everything goes right, right. Let's do a little exploring here, and let's look around. Ooh, oh wow, that's a freaking chasm down there. All right, well, ah, oh cool, I can sprint. What's left of a robot? Oh, what's that? I don't know what that is. So we're like on a robot. It no longer has power. All right, well, let's, let's look around here and see what we're dealing with, because, wow, this world is, whoa. What happened? Did I... I think I moved on to a new area. This is bizarre, like... Uh, let's... let's actually, let's head back down. Because I'm not done searching this area here. There's our little, uh... Our little home. Oh, I guess I am done searching around this area. Okay. Well... Yeah, actually, I am. I have looked all around. Uh oh, whole new area. All right. Oh wow, that's uh. Ooh, what is this? Uh oh. Oh, it's a robot. That light bulb. You are here. Yet, yeah. um. Yeah, I guess I am. Welcome to our world, friend. Oh God, it's one of those, one of those fanatics that probably thinks that we're gonna bring. Well, I was gonna say we're gonna bring light to the world, but essentially that's pretty much what we're doing. We're we're bringing light to the world. Most humbled by your presence. Yes, uh, thanks. I guess. I'm a little weirded out here by you, robot. You're you're strange. Sorry, a little lost. Yeah, that's true. Allow me to explain some things. May I first ask how you arrived here? I'm not sure. Yeah, we kind of woke up in a weird bed and a broken down... I don't know what that was, like a, a rail car or... Uh, kind of was like a house inside, but on the outside it looked like a rail car. It's really bizarre. Yeah, right? Woke up, I woke up in this weird house. It was really dark. Ah, so you woke up in an unfamiliar, dark location. Yeah. Just as my prophecy foretold, yes. Okay, you're a prophet. Awesome. You are the savior we've been waiting for. Uh-oh. You'll be the one to save our world from eternal darkness. Hooray, we're, we're the light bringer, guys. Yay, I guess. Again. A little intimidating. I'll now provide you with vital information. Ask me anything. Oh boy. Tell me about uh, the world. Yeah, why not? We'll, we'll hear about the world. I'm not sure where I am. I can't see too far off. Everything's so dark. Our world was not always this dim. Nor was it so broken. Okay, so we're dealing with a... a Semi, I'm going to say futuristic, but that's probably not, that's not really the word I want to use, but we're dealing with a, um, well, a broken down version of the world. Time waits for nobody, not even saviors. The world is divided into three regions. Not oh, cool. You're on the fringe right now, the barons. Tower you see in the distance once held our sun. Oh. So that's what the tall thing was. 
I don't remember seeing a tall thing, but uh, so this this world has has a tower that works as its sun. As you go further towards the center, you will cross the other regions. There should be a map still in this outpost somewhere. Uh oh, my puppies are upset, guys. All right, I apologize for that, guys. The uh, my phone went off, and my dogs decided that they were gonna they were gonna get all sorts of excited over it. It, I don't know. Eh, puppies, what can you do? You know. All right. So what are we doing? <laughs> All right, there should be a map in the outpost somewhere. All right. So let's see here. Now, tell me about this light bulb. Why am I? Why am I carrying this thing around? Found it in the house we woke up in. Within your hands is our new sun. Oh, okay. So we're gonna we're gonna install this as the the new the new uh, the new sun. Okay. Years ago, our previous sun sat atop that tower and spilled its light into the land. But one day, the light went out. Aw, well that's sad. I guess they, they needed one of those Everlast bulbs. One of the... What are they, uh... Or, ooh, they, they need an LED. That's what they need. The world is still hanging on by a thread. The surface of this world is abundant with an element called phosphor. Fortunately for us, this element stored light energy from our previous sun. It's now our only source of illumination, but its energy is finite. When the last of the light dies, our world will too. Oh, jeez. Yeah, no pressure, holy crap. Now that you're here with the new sun, all is well. You'll need to restore it to the tower. Yeah, that's going to be quite the quite the frickin' journey there, trying to get this thing put back in there. So begins your pilgrimage. Also, the sun is fragile, so be careful. Uh-oh. Sun is fragile. So that means if we drop it, we're just screwed. If the sun shatters, the world will end in an instant. Oh, boy. Yeah, no. No freaking pressure at all. Golly. All right, let's let's learn about the computer and then going home. In the house, I found this computer. It kept saying stuff like, "Your actions will here will affect Nico." But I'm Nico. Yeah, um, you're Nico. My actions as the player are gonna affect you. Those messages meant for someone else. Hmm. They might be trying to pass the message to sit. Oh crap! Inception. Uh, they're talking to me. Sid. Eh, that would be our god. Oh, crap. My computer is this world's god. Oh, that's... That could be a problem. If you're here, that means Sid is also here. Provide guidance for you, your journey. In fact, they already have. Really? Yeah, I, I would put a little exclamation point on there. It's like, because... If I was Nico, I'd be like, dude, the fuck are you talking about? I haven't seen anyone, though. Have you not contacted Sid yet? I don't think so. Being the bringer of our son, you have the sacred ability to communicate directly with Sid. It's so weird to see my freaking computer's name on here. Speaking of that, why did I name my computer Sid? I... Long story. Basically, Final Fantasy is one of my favorite game series ever. And we'll just leave it at that. An ability that no one else possesses, certainly not I. Please close your eyes and focus. Alright. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Little Nico's gonna try and talk to me. Oh, shit. Sid, are you there? Oh, that's not my name. Oh, should I be a dick? I, oh God, no, I shouldn't. I already feel bad if I mess up. But yes, little Nico, I am here for you. 
Uh, nice to meet you. My name is Nico. Yeah, I, I kind of kind of know that already. Don't worry about it. I'll do what I can to take care of you. I actually heard someone. They said their name is Sid. This is incredible. Oh, look at the little face all lit up with happiness and everything. Oh my god. Do not be afraid to ask for assistance. You are you're the Messiah after all. What? Uh, all right, last one. Going home. I don't mean to be rude, but I, I'm not sure about all this. I still don't know how I got here. I was just with my mama a few hours ago. Oh, poor little, poor little Nico has been separated from her mama. Well, that's not cool. Now it feels like I'm in a bad dream. I just want to go home. Your mission is to save our world, just as my mission is to tell you about our world. I'm unable to help you beyond my programming. I'm sorry. Aww. Alright, okay. So, we need to restore this world, and then, second mission, get Nico back to her mom. I think Nico's a her, anyways. Alright, it's all we got to say. I wish you luck. Can we head in here? Oh, we can. Alright, cool. He said something about a map being in here, so what's this? The use of a robot as our replacement head engineer seems unorthodox, especially the one responsible for last year's incident. Oh, jeez. Suppose I had to get her away from the city. Doesn't make it easier to swallow for those of us who work here. I hope that man knows what he's doing. Alright, well, that's weird. Oh, I won't turn on. Alright, a uh, map. There should be a map somewhere. What's this? Self-charging solar battery? Hmm. In full daylight with the lens facing up. Charges in seconds. No external power. Oh, cool. Battery fails. Check to see if the lens is dislodged. One charge cycle will last about 10 days. Damn. That would be awesome to have. If you notice a decline in the charge cycle within the warranty period, please contact the manufacturer. I mean, think about it. You set something up to charge... You can usually use it for only like 8 hours, but if you could set it up to charge and that charge lasts for like 10 days, that would be amazing. Uh oh, the box looks interesting. Oh, uh, we gotta find a dusty shelf. Isn't that a pro bar or a pry bar right there? Maybe, maybe it's a candy cane. I don't know. Alright. A robot may not injure a living person or through. Oh, geez. The three laws, really? I'm not even gonna read those. Uh, map of the world. All right, so we're in the Barrens. We're all the way out there. There's a, what is that, water or something? Then the Glen, then the Refuge, and the Towers in the dead center. All right. Yeah, I can dig it. Oh, we got to find something to, can we get something to, a uh, little robot doesn't have power. We need to find something to pry that box open with. Where can I? Where can I get something? Dusty shelves. I don't need any dusty shelves. A faded poster. The rarest form of blue phosphorus found during the phosphorus shrimp spawn period. Hmm. If you if you observe a pond with bubbled over surface, please contact management immediately. Wow. Five new positions. Oh, uh, first come, first serve. All right, well, that's cool if we work for this company, but it seems this company's kind of busted down and, and uh, you know, broken. All right, what do we got here? We got ourselves another note. Page of faded ink. Able to provide power to all robots and machinery in the area via a large electromagnetic field. Huh, cool. Custom customized backup cells for the few most important robots. Electromagnetic fields are much weaker. Signals are okay. In other words, these small cells can only charge one single. Aw. So we get so the smaller fields can only charge one robot. I got you. Small glowing shrimp swimming in the jar. Small machine. 
I can feel my hair standing up a little bit. I think it's collecting energy from a little jar of shrimp. Maybe not. I don't know. A rectangle-shaped hole in the middle. Hmm. Well, I don't think I have anything. So let's see if we can run through. I don't really think I need to be in here. We do need to look around a little bit. So... Oh, wow. What's this? Oh, dude, it's like a it's like a manufacturing plant or something. Huh. All right, well, let's head let's take a look around. What are we dealing with here? All sorts of robots in different stages of uh Oh, is that one working? Holy cow. What of my scarf? Aw, no, don't get pulled in and squished. That would be horrible. Poor little Nico. All right. Uh, well, nothing here for us, I guess. That's sad. Golly, this game is beautiful, really. But we need to go up. We need to find a way to go up up to get out of the warrens or the barrens I should say we got to get out of the barrens and we have to go well we have to go to the center so I don't really know how to do that but you know look around here maybe oh geez little tiny freaking little tiny paths Huh. Whoa. What'd we do? Ooh, there's something in the air here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Nico, don't... Hold your breath. It hurts to breathe. Nope, go back. We are not putting you in danger, little Nico. Nope. I don't care how much I have to backtrack. We are going to take care of you and get you home to your mom. Alright, so I will need a breathe mask of some kind... What's this? A six-digit code. Uh, nope. Sorry. Ah, oh, crap. I can't just close out. Alright, well, let's just go like that. We'll have to come back. Don't worry, Nico. We'll get the code. We'll come back. We'll get you, get you stuff. Because you need, you probably need stuff. But I'm actually going to look around and see if we come across anything new. I'm probably going to head back the way we came, do a little more exploring, and, uh, yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll come back once I find, once I find my way back to the boxcar. Because we, we have a lot of looking around to do here before I end this episode. Oh, hey, check it out. We found, like, a little, uh, a little ferryman or something riding on a little boat. Sid, Sid, what do you, what, what? Yeah, I'm, I'm here, Nico, don't worry. No oh, good. There's a robot here attached to a boat. Doesn't seem to have power and its joints are rusted over as well. I think we should be able to fix it. After all, we need to cross the ocean to get to the tower. Oh, that's an ocean. Oh, I thought that was like a... Abyss, more or less. I didn't know it was actually water. That's cool. All right, so we have to we have to fix the robot. But how? Let's see. This is Nico's little house that we woke up in, isn't it? Yeah, go ahead, and take a nap, Nico. Why not? So I told Nico she could take a nap, and the game actually closed the window on me. And when I opened it back up. I get this. Oh my gosh, this game. <laughs> oh, this game is something else, guys. I don't even know. This is, I mean, it's amazing. It's awesome. It's like a little dream sequence here. Wow. And, and still, she checks. 
Like, are you there? Are you are you still my little my little invisible friend that I can kind of talk to? Are you there? <sighs> my only option is yes. That's awesome. Huh. I'm awake. I had a dream. Yeah, I, I, I saw your dream, Nico. Don't worry. Wow. I really thought I was back home. Oh, jeez, you're gonna freaking make me feel stuff. I don't want to... I don't want any feels this early in a game. Jeez. Sun back in my home world isn't a light bulb. It's a big ball of fire in the sky. I don't think I would be able to hold it like I do with the sun from your world. Uh, yeah, this isn't... this... this is not my world. Sorry, Nico. It isn't the world I live in. Really? I guess not. If you're the god of the world, you wouldn't necessarily be in it. Wow, now we got some weird meta shit going on here. What's your homeworld called? Uh, <laughs> that's a secret. No, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna play this nice. We're gonna be personable, and we're we're gonna be really nice to Nico. Like the stuff on the ground. <laughs> Wait, do you live underground? Wow. No, no, Nico, I don't. I, no, I don't live underground. Ah, uh, neither do we. But shrews and field mice and stuff do. Does your world have a son? I kind of feel like I'm talking to a little kid. I mean, well, I guess kind of in a way, sort of, I am, but... You know what, never mind. Really? Wow, can you hold it? No, I... That was a silly question. The sun in my home world is very bright. And warm. But it goes away sometimes at night. <laughs> Well, I can I can only imagine, you know, if if you had the ability to talk to a, some someone or something that like is depicted as the great maker or the the god, if you will. I can I can imagine that this is probably the same tone or the same level that I would be talking to them on. This game is awesome so amazing everything gets dark kind of like how the earth is now but it's okay because the sun always comes back the next day that's good don't you think my world is like that too Nico do you sleep during the night we go to sleep usually but some people stay up and use computers <laughs> oh geez I don't have to explain what they are do I no there's a bunch of them in this world. Yeah, we should probably stop stalling, Nico, because this is, uh... This is something else. That's what it is. Must have broken off. Oh, it's a metal pipe. Oh, I might be able to use that. Uh, can I use that to pry open that box? Because there's a box down here. Where, actually, where was that metal box at? Let's see, that's where we woke up. Um, yep, we gotta go over here. And was the, I think the metal box, or I think the box was in here. If I can remember where the hell it was, that would be amazing. There's the box. Wish I had something to pry it open with. All right, let's use. Oh my gosh. Can't travel right now. Yeah, no duh. All right. The pipe won't fit under the crack. Ah, we'll need to flatten it somehow. Oh. All right. Okay. Uh, where was that? That was over actually it was right here we should be able to go down in here we we'll use our we we'll use the pipe ooh odd 
Don't worry. Crowbar. Yeah. Don't worry, Nico. I, I'll try not to, to have bad things happen to you. Oh, geez. That would have been scary. Especially if you think about it. You know, this this whole world is dark and everything. Except for that little light bulb that she carries. I can imagine a crushing machine would be pretty freaking terrifying. Alright. There's a little metal cube and some broken glass. Looks like what used to be a machine part. Solar battery. Oh. No, we're going to have to fix it. It's empty now. I'm not really interested in the shards of glass at the bottom. But maybe... Apparently it's a battery. It's broken glass in it. Hmm. I wonder. Oh, yeah, that and that. Nope. All right. Well, I thought maybe I could like fix it that way. Hey, robot, you got something? Can you tell me? Nope. Not really interested about any of these. Ugh. Guess I have to listen. So empty. That's why it's called the Barons. Are there any living people in the area? Besides robots. Huh. I was not built to wander. Not built to? Yeah, I mean, robots just kind of do as they're programmed. Robot friends? Wow. I can't, I cannot desire companionship. I have not been tamed. What? There was no time. Okay, that's weird. We're just gonna... We're just gonna head back over this way. So we've got a... We've got a damaged battery that we have to repair at some point. Or somehow, I should say. And... I wonder... Can we install the battery even though it's... Where's the guy at? thought he was right there. Oh, there he is. Can we use the battery? Like, does it have enough of a charge? We can fix it. Um, no. Because it, it's broken, so we would have to repair it first before we're able to do anything with it. Alright, I guess I'm going to have to search around and try and find some clues or something. All right, well, it seems like if I go any further north, I run into the same poison cloud, noxious fume thing that I ran into on the far side. So whatever I need to do, I have to do it here within these areas. So I'm going to have to look around. I'm going to have to see if I can fix this battery somehow. I don't really know how I'm going to fix it, though. It's, uh, maybe I got to spend time trying to crack the code for that for that safe and get whatever's inside there I don't remember coming across a code though so I golly I might actually have to just sit there and try and oh geez a six digit code god it's gonna take like hours running through all possible number combinations dude anyways so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to end this episode here. This was so awesome. I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. Uh, until next time, take care of yourselves. I hope you guys have a good day. And goodbye.